So tell me about wedding week then, motorbikes and all. <gasps> you know about that? I yeah. was terrified. I am so risk averse. I keep saying, I just give me words. I'm all talk, no action. I don't <laughs> like any of that. Um, but the two guys that we had who are the real deal, real hell's angels, were amazing. Um, Tattitude and toothless, they were. That's their real names, their birth names. Yeah, um, and they were amazing. Um, and he really looked after me because I was like, oh, mm, clinging on to dear life, but yeah. it was great. Is there, is there a stunt, Sally Ann, then, or is it all your own no, wonderful no, no, work? No, no, it's all me. <laughs> In fact, I had a bruise on my knee for about a week afterwards. I do bruise very easily because I was clinging on because the only thing I could equate it to is horse riding. Yes, okay. You know what I mean? So you were gripping? So I was gripping on, and as a result, I bruised all the inside of my knee. But it was. Um, it was interesting choosing a wedding dress. <laughs> With that in mind. Because we had to know. <laughs> so we tried the wedding dresses on and then Alex, um, our costume designer, would say, right, now straddle this chair because we had to see whether the wedding dress yeah. would do what we wanted it to do. So let's put this into context then. Why is she on the motorbike? I'm not telling you. No, you can. Well, uh, inevitably, okay. there is um, just a hold up on the ring road. Yeah. So they have to get there quickly, and um, it's the only available means of transport. Mm. So, what should viewers expect from the wedding? It's not going to be a, a fairy tale Pride and Prejudice style no. double wedding, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, in true Curry tradition, um, it's it's just epic, and uh, we were we were blessed with so many different things where we were filming was amazing and they looked after us so well. Uh, we were blessed with the weather because every other day when we were doing the internals, it was chucking it down. The day we were outside, it was glorious. Um, John Anderson, the director and the crew, it was just one of those crews where everybody just gelled. We had such a good time. Um, but I think everybody came away going, this is the clip that will be shown in every kind of Corrie is six years, Corrie is a hundred years old, they will still be showing this clip. It'll be in the montage then for years to come. For, yeah, it's epic. And let's put it, uh, let's also talk about the Rita side of things as well. You've probably seen online the whole Save Rita campaign. It's tugging on people's heartstrings, isn't it? Well, let's just keep fingers crossed, eh? And your association with Barbara dates back to the 1980s, so is it is it um, a, a kind of heartfelt story to do this one? Oh, it, it's, it's, it's very easy to work with Barbara anyway. Um, when you're playing any kind of scene, because she's, she's always been like that, she's always been very giving, and so it's very easy to do emotional scenes with her, mm -hmm. um, because it feels quite real. Mm -hmm not saying anymore no but I mean it, you can chart that relationship you know from when you first came into the program is, is it so nice to be able to be kind of like still be involved with that um, those decades oh, on oh definitely I mean I think there are the I mean I really miss working with Brooke and Michael a lot because obviously when I came back I was in the Kevin and um, Sophie stuff and I, I never work with them now and I miss that so it is nice when you've had relationships with people in the past that you still get to work with them. So working with Barbara, working with Sally uh, Dinever, um, that's really important. And then, of course, the new relationships, working with Dolly Rose, who's just, apart from when she eats jelly snakes and she has a sugar <laughs> rush, then she is a nightmare. Unmanageable. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but we work really well together as well um, and I love working with Richard I mean working with Richard is just brilliant we I mean I, you know any scene we've decided we're going to kiss each other and the director will come up and say I think you should have a kiss going, we're, we're doing that anyway it's just dead easy um, and he's so good and he makes me laugh because he's quite bumbling and uh, but he tolerates me because I'm very demanding and you have to be right on it when you're with me so um, I put up with his bumbling and he puts up with my perfectionist nature <laughs> and and do you like it that jenny jenny bradley as she sh shall forever be known do you think that she um is still kind of slightly unknowable and unpredictable do you like that that we can't second guess her definitely definitely i like to do things and i think some writers have said to me we wrote that and it was intended to be played that way and then you've done it and we've gone that's not that's not what we intended there yeah. um and i like that you, you like find the darkness well. and the, the humor I think whenever you get to a point where uh, you can inevitably see a climax or a, a situation, the story is going to go in that avenue. You'll go, "Oh my God, she's going to go crazy!" And then if she doesn't go crazy, you go, "Oh, yeah." I mean, you don't want something that's predictable. Yeah. Well, she's certainly not predictable. No. So you like to play against it then? Yeah. She's batty. I love her. 